Well, slowing growth means the Fed may be done raising interest rates, right? But slowing growth also means Americans might buy less from companies. So is today's GDP report good news or bad news for investors? I'm joined by William Spiropoulos, president and CEO of Core States Capital Advisors. He comes to us from Philadelphia. Thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, let me ask you this. Uh, you've said that maybe uh, investors are getting it wrong, that the Fed isn't going to slow down at this point, even though the economy is. Well, I think, Mike, you know, the uh, one and done uh, popular belief out there is um, absolutely wrong. And the one thing I know from uh, 30 years of experience uh, in this game is that uh, we're all going to be wrong pretty much about everything. And if these markets end up looking a lot like the last time we had um, severe uh, energy woes, rates will go harder and higher than anybody uh, can possibly guess. Why do you think that at this point we're not seeing it flow through into, uh, at this point, corporate earnings? We're uh, not seeing it be passed along in terms of inflation other than on the uh, headline level, but the core is not really showing it yet. Uh, a lot of people much more sanguine than you are. Well, I think you've got to be patient. You know, the 73-74 Arab oil embargo, we didn't get the uh, peak uh, in inflation until uh, 81 when uh, Volcker uh, choked it out of the system. All, all I know is that when you see the uh, price of corn doing what it's doing in the last 36 months, you've got to believe the price of cheeseburgers are going up down the road. Uh, I think that's inflationary. I can't eat cheeseburgers to make me fat. <laughs> what do you want? If I, if I can't invest in cheeseburgers, what should I do in terms of equities uh, right now in this environment? Well, I'll tell you, I think the real key to uh, 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 portfolio survival over this next uh, cycle, which is going to be um, violent and probably volatile and um, unlike anything we've seen in the last 20 years, I think the key is you have to have an eight-cylinder engine. Uh, everybody knows about the, uh, the four-cylinder engine, which is stocks, bonds, cash, and real estate. And they served us well, but going forward, boy, you better have um, energy, uh, raw materials, uh, currencies, the biggest market in the world, and most people have no exposure in currencies. Um, and those are the kinds of things that uh, I think make sense. Um, in the U.S. markets, probably the only thing that I find uh, reasonably priced and amusing is the uh, large-cap consumer growth. Stocks that are well hated like Pfizer, okay. um, Johnson & Johnson. Okay. Well, hang on with us if you could, Bill. We'll get a little more on that eight-cylinder engine in just a second. We have to take a break. Uh, we'll be right back with you. No, These are one of the cylinders, so why don't you talk about the other seven. Uh, where among them would you allocate most of your capital now? Regretfully, I think the, uh, the best place to... Uh, Way overweight with the highest percentage would probably be cash for the next um, quarter, maybe two quarters. Um, risks are rising. I think that the, um, despite the great behavior of the markets this week, um, the S&P issued a, a long-term sell signal. Um, we didn't close above the 200-day moving average. I didn't say the close, but I believe we didn't uh, do it today. So the jury's out for the next couple of weeks. So the biggest category has to be cash. Number two, I think you have to look at um, currencies. I think there's some rich opportunities there, and there's some new products for investors to uh, get a, a reasonable allocation. Um, Ridex, for example, has a, uh, a weakening dollar fund, where instead of doing crazy things, you can invest in something that looks like a mutual fund. And, it will and you're essentially selling short the dollar. Against five major currencies. And I think that uh, down the road, that is a key theme, regretfully, that uh, will be... Um, quite uh, obvious to many. If you want to pick up a, another currency outside of, say, a fund that's focused on the dollar, which would you say has got the best chance of appreciation? Well, versus the dollar, I would probably buy the uh, euro ETF, which um, the euro looks like it wants to uh, break above the um, trading range it's been in for the last several uh, uh, months. Um, also, I think that you have to look at some of these um, new products out there where you can invest in um, these in inverse funds so that if you have a 30% uh, long position in high quality growth stocks with a mere 12% you can um, almost indemnify that entire position against risk with these uh, S&P and uh, Dow uh, type of inverse funds which didn't exist during the last you, major secular bear market. You mentioned just a minute ago energy. How do people get into energy? 
Well, you know, unfortunately, I think that uh, the energy problems are not going to go away. We got here. It took 30 years to get us here by being um, laissez-faire, to be very polite on camera. But uh, America has many sins, uh, all of us do, and it's not going to go away tomorrow. You can open the SRS. We've got 25 years worth of work to do. So you may as well invest in it and buy ExxonMobil, buy um, Provident Energy. Um, there are companies out there like Provident Energy and Penn Growth that will pay investors 8, 9, 10 percent cash on cash returns and if the price of natural gas breaks out from here and moves higher over the next two or three years you'll have nice capital gains and unlike oil natural gas after Katrina had a, a vicious correction so I think this is one area that it's okay to buy you are um, certainly uh, nothing if not cheerful about the economy and markets prospects going forward you have a target for us for something like the S&P well, I think that the uh, the markets, you know, if they do, if the Dow doesn't hold 10.8 and the S and P uh, doesn't break out here, I think that you you have a uh, a reconfirmation of the uh, lows that we saw in May, to say the least. And if that doesn't happen, then maybe another five or six percent below that. Uh, and then geopolitical factors, energy uh, supply comes into okay. play. All right. Thank you very much, Bill Spiropoulos, president of Core States Capital Advisors in Philadelphia.